What would you like? You could have chocolate cake or a biscuit. They have nice chocolate brownies here. That, that looks nice. Let's go find a table, Mum. So how was your morning? My what? Well, your morning. How was your morning? This isn't my house, is it? No, no Mum, we're in a cafe. Oh. What cafe? Taste Buds Cafe. Taste Grub. Taste Buds. Taste Bud. Taste Buds. Oh, how extraordinary. Uh, and why are we here then? Well, I'm taking you out for hot chocolate. Oh, how nice. Mm. Uh, aren't you having anything? Um, just a coffee. Mm. What do you do? What's your administration? My administration? What, what is your interest? What activity do you do during the week? Oh, my job. I work as a lawyer. A lawyer? And mm -hmm. what sort of law? Uh, corporate law or companies. I work with companies. Oh. Are you married? No. Oh, wouldn't you like to be? No. Oh. Uh, do you have any children? Yes, three children. Oh, what are their names? Sam, Phoebe... And Hunter. <laughs> That's right. But you're not married? No. I say, are they having sex? Mum? Well, well, I think they are. But why not? I suppose this must be a sexing station. Mum, this is a cafe. They're not having sex, they're just talking. Oh, no, they're not. He's sexing with her neck. Why don't you join in? Go on. No, thanks, Mum. I'm waiting for my coffee. Where is your wife? Shouldn't you be having sex with her? You mean my husband? I don't have a husband. I used to be married, but not anymore. Oh, who to? Well, to Michael. You remember Michael? So you, you, you just went swoosh? Yes. You got, um, oh, what's the word? Divorced. We separated. Oh. And, and that's a friendly situation, um, an arrangement that you're both content with. Yes. Uh, and are the children happy? What are their names? Sam, Phoebe and... and Hunter. That's right, Hunter. Uh, and who do the children live with? Well, they spend half the week with me and half with Michael. Oh, that's nice. And, and you're the best of friends. Absolutely. It's all fine. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and, and who do the children live with? So how are things at the retirement village, Mum? How are you settling in? Pardon? How are things at the retirement village? Um, Have you made any friends yet? Friends? Well, Millie seems nice. Millie? Yes. Millie who? Oh, I don't know a second name. But what's my job there? You, I don't think you need a job, Mum. Well, aren't I a nurse? Well, you know, I, I need to earn my living. And I'd really like to work as a nurse. You know, I used to work in a hospital. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, yes, very. Mm -hmm. Aren't you having anything? Well, no, just a coffee. Um. What? Really? Well, yes. Oh, well, well, go on, ha have some. No, thanks. No, 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 go on. No, really, I'm not hungry. Don't you have a job? <laughs> yes, I work as a lawyer. Oh, I should think all that exercise, doing lawing, you know, do law business, it 
It must be very tiring work. Are you sure you won't have some? Yes, I'm sure. I'm fine, Mum. There must be lots of paper, you know, um, forms, forms. On account of, on account of, of everything. What do you mean? Didn't we have sex together? No, Mum. But aren't you my husband? Mum, I'm your daughter. I'm Eileen. My daughter? Yes. <laughs> but wasn't I married? Well, yes, you're married to Andrew. Remember Andrew? Here, oh, you have oh, a picture of him in your wallet. Yeah. And Jonathan. Oh, See? Jonathan. Oh, but isn't he my brother? Jonathan's my brother. He's your son. Well, well don't I live with them? Well, no, you live in the Anglican Retirement Village. Well, where do Jonathan and Andrew live? Well, Jonathan's in England and, well, Andrew, he passed away. Why? Well, why what? Well, well, what did he die of? Well, he was very old. Well, how old? I don't know, 76? Oh, no, wait, 77. Oh, that's not old. How old am I? You're 82. Oh, well, there you see. Well, I, I think it's disgusting, people dying for no reason. Hey, is Molly here? Oh, no, she passed away too. Oh. Oh, I, I've had a terrible life, haven't I? Well, don't you think? Yes, Mum, you've had a hard life. I mean, first Daddy dies, and then Mummy dies, and then Glyn, and, and I've been all alone ever since. Actually, Mum, your life hasn't been that bad. Andrew and you were married for nearly 30 years. You had some good years together. Oh, well, did you say so? He committed suicide, didn't he? That was Glenn, Mum. Glenn? Well, Glenn committed suicide. How terrible. Uh, and who was he? Well, Glenn was my biological father. Your what? I thought Andrew was your father. Well, he was. Oh, never mind, Mum. You should drink your hot chocolate or get cold soon, otherwise. Oh, I've had a shitty life, a shitty fucking life. Now, how much for all this? Already paid, Mum. No, 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 I insist on... Uh, 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 I, I, is that enough? Mum, I've already paid. But how much did it cost? About ten dollars. Ten dollars? Well, how much do I have? About a dollar. Is that enough? Mum, I've already paid. It's all right. Oh, it's disgusting. What do you mean? I always pay my way, and yet here I am with, with no money. Well. That's why I need a job. Th this place that I'm staying at, couldn't I get a job there? Mum, it's not that kind of place. It's where you live. Who said I live there? I certainly never said that. Well, you've just moved there, Mum. I have not just only moved there. I have lived my entire life with Jonathan and I have worked in a hospital my entire life. Mum, you haven't seen Jonathan in over 10 years. You, you just, you, wait a minute. Who, who arranged all this? Uh, well? Well, what? What I want to know is, what am I doing here? And where is my money? All right then. For the past five years, you've been living with me up until three weeks ago. That was when you moved. We talked about it. Oh, and your money's in a Westpac bank account. I asked you a simple question. I am your mother and I want you to answer me. What? What question? Ask me anything and I'll answer. I want to know why I don't receive statements. What statements? Oh, you, you made me move away from my brother. 
And you tricked me into coming here. Well, nobody's going to send me statements here to a sexing station. Oh, of course they're not going to. Mum, you asked me to take care of your finances. Years ago, you asked me. Your money's perfectly safe. It's in a Westpac bank account. And nobody even knows I'm here. Oh, it's disgusting when I think of all the chaos that you brought into my life just so you can keep on sponging. I'm not sponging. Well, in that case, where are my bank statements? Where is my money? And why did you make me move here? Mum, we spoke about it, all right? You moved three weeks ago. Your money is perfectly safe. It's in a Westpac bank account. And you asked me to take care of your finances years ago. I did no such thing as you know perfectly well. Oh, you just pluck me about in my life and you plonk me down here among all these people and you leave me with nothing. It's absolutely disgraceful. Fine. Have it your way. I stole all your money and I threw you in a home. Oh, and maybe I deprived you of your wonderful son, Jonathan, as well. Maybe... Actually, I need to use the bathroom. Mum, you wait here, OK? 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 You'll wait here. Yes, I'll wait here. OK, good. And don't forget your hot chocolate. Why? Kieran just sent me a text and now it's disappeared. Are you still waiting to hear back from me about tomorrow night? Yeah. Ooh, he's a keeper. He's been helping his mum, you know the story. She's on meds, right? A bit of a basket case? <sighs> a total nightmare. And that's his excuse? I don't know, but I do know that he's a dream boat. A dream boat? Who are you? Total sex kitten, of course. A walking wet dream. Hey, do you know what happened? What? He went on date me, just for a laugh. Kieran, I mean. Like I said, a real keeper. No, listen. And guess whose profile he saw? His mum's. Oh, no. Yep. <sighs> it's five years worth of therapy right there. You should go out with Jay. You know he likes you, and he's cute. Can you imagine with that shirt? Hey, well, guess what? I'm a drug dealer. He's just trying to be edgy.
Time to go, Mum. Oh, jolly good. Do you have a husband? No, Mum. Oh, I see. You know, I think a lot of men would want to marry you. You'd make someone a lovely companion. Really, Mum? That's so nice of you. How was your hot chocolate? My what? <laughs>